Hey, Shalom, this is the Brother Bob. You're back here once again. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechachakwadash. The bonus to my teachers, the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> yeah, this um, map that I have on the screen, this is a um, representation of the different denominations that make up Christianity within America. Um, so this is, you know, part of the reason they call America a Christian nation. <clears throat> but really, when you look at it, um, this map in particular, I'm sure you can find other maps, but dealing with this map in particular, you see where it uh, shows you uh, Protestant, Catholic, and Mormon. Um, this is why Christianity in America is such a big hypocrisy. Um, it's based on lies. It's not based on truth. Um, when you look at the Protestant church, when you look at the Catholic church, when you look at the Mormon church, all of this is just Edomite supremacy, what you would call white supremacy. Um, the people, you, the so-called white people, their biblical nationality are Edomites. They come from the lineage of Edom, all right? Their forefather is Esau. So what you see on this map is nothing but Edomite supremacy. All right. If you go to a Protestant church, they're going to be praying to a white Jesus. If you go to a Catholic church, though the Pope prays to a black Mary and a black Jesus, the Catholic churches throughout America um, and throughout the world, um, teaching to the average person, they are praying to a white Jesus. They have a white Jesus up in their churches. You go to Mormon, they got white images all throughout their Bible. All right. So... Um, it's based on lies, it's based on hypocrisy, and, um, you know, that same rhetoric that they came with from Europe, because that's what it stems from, all right? Even though you did have you so-called black people, all right, primarily from the tribe of Judah, um, even though y'all did rule Europe and some of you were in uh, some of these Christian denominations out there in Europe, Europe um, it's the so-called white man from Europe, all right, these Edomites that came from Europe that brought these Christian denominations over here to America and established these Edomite Christian churches based off of these Edomite Christian philosophies. Hence, a lot of these slave ships um, were owned by so-called Christian men, all right, Christian Edomites, Christian white men, okay, Um even during the slavery of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, um, primarily dealing with Southern Canaan, Judah over here in America, even during your captivity, majority of your slave masters considered themselves to be Christians, all right? Whether they were Protestant, whether they were Catholic, whatever, all right? They, were, they, they called themselves Christ, Christians, all right? Even the, even the um, Ku Klux Klan, they were burning crosses within, you know, the yards of you so-called black people. So when America talks about it being a Christian nation, it's all hypocrisy and it's all lies. All right. All this is is just Edomite supremacy. That's all this is. And that's why America is going to be destroyed because it, it has nothing to do with the righteous way and the moral, the moral standards Law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being the Most High, who you would who you would refer to as the God of the Bible, and Yahweh Shah, who you would refer to being the Messiah in the Bible. Okay, <clears throat> those are the true um, term term. I guess you can call them deities. Those are the true deities of the Bible. Those are the true powers of the Bible. Hamashiach Yahweh Shah and the Most High Yahweh. All right. Not God, not Jesus, not Jehovah, not Yeshua, all right? Not none of these Edomite terms that you've adopted, all right, from Europeans coming over here and enslaving you and colonizing you and indoctrinating you with their beliefs and their philosophies, all right? And one of the main reasons why this is hypocrisy, all right, let's, let's, get, let's go to the scriptures now. <clears throat> let's go over to uh, the book of Titus. The book of Titus, chapter 1. 
And let's go down to verse um, um, we, could, we could start at verse 14 Even though this is dealing with addressing um, Primarily the southern kingdom of the nation of Israel This can also apply to the hypocritical nation of America all right? Because the words of the scriptures are nothing but truth and life All right so even though the promises and the and the, the inheritance is not for heathen nations, they can still hear the hear the word, and be cut by it. Right. So this is Titus chapter one verse fourteen, not giving heed to Jewish fables, and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Now America is based off of what, fables, and commandments of men, right? Like I said, even though this passage was addressing. Uh, primarily the southern kingdom of the nation of Israel and those, you know, those Hebrews living during this time, you can still apply that, all right, to the to this wicked society here because it's based off of fables. It's based off commandments of men. One of the main commandments of men that are turning away people from the truth is saying that men and women are equal. Why would you allow women to have the same rights as men, work the same jobs as men, Go to the same schools as men, be looked at as equal, as a man, as a man's equal. When the scriptures clearly teach us that the head of the woman is the man, and that her lord and master is the man. All right, her father is to be her lord and her master until she is given to her husband, who is then supposed to take over the charge of being her lord and her master. Of of course, the ultimate master and the lord of lords, king of kings, is the Most High Yahweh. All right. And the first begotten, Yahweh Shah, of course, they're, they're kings and, and lords over everybody, right? But your husband and the man that you spend the rest of your life with, life with is supposed to be your lord and master also. He is your head. He is in charge of you. He is in control of you. You are his property. The scriptures tell you that when a woman, the scriptures say when a man get up a wife, he get up a possession, all right? Property, something he owns. America doesn't uphold that. Those traditions, those ideolo that ideology, that that belief, that standard, that way, that moral custom of the Most High, they do away with it, and they say men and women are equal. Women can be independent. Women can choose who they want to be with. W women can go and come as they please. Right? That's commandments of men. Fables. Christianity is nothing but a fable. Where's the word Christianity in the scriptures? Now you will see the word Christian. I think it's in the Bible like three times. It's in the scriptures like three times. Out of all the passages, you're only going to see Christian, the word Christian, uh, a few times. And that's not what the Most High called his people. The Most High called his people um, the Hebrew Israelites, all right? The Israelites, the children of Israel, all right? Christian was a Greek way of saying they were the followers of the guy calling himself the anointed one. The Greek way of saying that. During the time of the Greco-Roman Empire, that was the Greek Greek slang term of calling the followers of the Messiah Christians, or those are the people trying to follow this man that say he's anointed. All right. So, why the scriptures say they were first called Christians at Antioch? That's not a term that they called themselves; it was put upon them. All right. Christianity doesn't teach you um, to uphold. Um, the Most High's people, right? The scriptures clearly tell you that the Most High have chosen uh, Israel. Let's get that real quick, and then we'll go back to uh, Titus. Deuteronomy chapter 32. <clears throat> I believe it's chapter 32 that I want. <clears throat> yeah, over here in chapter 32 in verse, um, verse 8, it says, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance... Over here in America, they don't teach you um, about division, even though the one percent in the power structure, these families that are part of the power structure, they want to um, divide themselves from the rest of the lower class. What they teach in school, all right, and teach the average people is that division is wrong. Everybody should come to America and be on the same hamster wheel, chasing the American dream, and hopefully they don't wake up from that dream and find out. That it's a nightmare. 
All right? It says, this is verse 8, reading again. It says, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, the Most High separated the sons of Adam. We all come from Adam. All nations come from Adam. But the Lord separated us, and he confounded the languages. He changed the languages. All right? We all have different customs and cultures for a reason. The Most High created it to be that way. He didn't say, everybody, come to America and try to be one. It's nothing but a melting pot of destruction waiting to happen. Scriptures say, if a house be divided, how can it stand? Right? Just like during the time of the Tower of Babel, the Most High wasn't with everybody coming together. So let's continue re reading. It says, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the inheritance is for Jacob. Jacob had 12 tribes, which became uh, the 12 patriarchs of the tribes of Israel. All right. It said, the it said, for the Lord's portion is his people. All right. Israel is the Lord's portion. All right. When you go into that word portion. Okay. Um, it, it means to uh, basically be one's possession. All right. It's the Most High's possession. Remember I told you um, earlier that a wife, a, a husband's wife, that's his possession. Well, we're the Most High's possession. That's why he's, that's why there's, uh, throughout the scriptures, you'll find uh, analogies and um, basically, um, you know, kind of kind of parabolic talk of the Most High desc describing uh, Israel being a woman unto him, right? The bride coming for the bride. The, um, the bride waiting for the bridegroom, you know. So, you know, Israel is the Lord's portion, right? Christianity doesn't uphold that. Christianity says everybody is the Lord's portion. It don't matter if you, you know, it matter what you look like, talk like. It don't matter what you do. Do as thou wilt. You can eat what you want, dress how you want, do what you want. If you just say, I believe in Jesus, and you're saved, right? Now, of course, it, throughout Christianity, some denominations are a little different within that salvation thing, but it's all Edomite supremacy. It all goes back to Edomite supremacy. It has nothing to do with uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being the true biblical Hebrew Israelites and coming back to your power, which the scriptures is about. All right, so let's go back to Titus chapter 1, and let's read verse 14 again. It says, Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. All right, what's another commandment of men? Uh, homosexuality. All right, that it's okay for the same sex to be together as if they can, as if life can come from that. All right, that's confusion, that's madness, that two women are licking up on each other, and if they want to have a baby, they got to get some random man's seed and put it in the woman. That's, destru that's demonic, and that's nothing but confusion and death. But that's commandments of men, turning people from the truth. But this is supposed to be a Christian nation, right? But they don't they they don't uphold none of the teachings of the Anointed One, all right? That's why Christianity is a joke. <clears throat> but verse fifteen, let's go to verse fifteen. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled, and that's why the minds of people over here, there, which is basically your spirit. All right, it's one of the same with your mind. That's where your thoughts lie. That's, that's that's where your dreams happen. That's where you know you think about things and you have feelings. All right, once your mind is once your mind and your conscience is defiled, your spirit is defiled, and these people are straightly defiled. All right, they're pursuing after their lust. They they don't know how to bridle their tongue. They don't know how to get control control over their loins. All right, they have no discipline. All right. They, they don't practice none of the righteous fruits of the Spirit. All they do is uh, chase after money and chase after their fleshly desires. And they keep destroying and defiling their spirit. That's what America truly teaches. But they mask it with this uh, love everybody, demonic Christianity, which has nothing for the Scriptures. Which has nothing to do with the Scriptures or with the truth of the Bible. The Scriptures say um, there's a time for love and there's a time for hate. All right? There's a time for peace and there's a time for war. You're not always supposed to just be loving, loving, loving everybody. Here it is. You just say, I'm supposed to love this stranger 
but he can be a complete sadistic murderer. That's how a guy like Ted Bundy was able to crack women over the head with a crowbar, all right, when he was on his rampage, okay, with that with that demonic Edomite eat eat smile they always come with because of that, oh, just be cool with everybody, love everybody. You don't know this nigga, but you, you got this nigga walking you to your car, all right? He faking like he a policeman trying to help you find something th in your car, and he crack you over the head and bring you to the woods and murder you, all right? Madness, confusion, folly, and you simple Negroes have been joining hand in hand with the so-called white man over here in America in, his, in these marches, all right, wanting to be part of his system, integrate into his society and be one with him. Simple, simpletons, madness. But what does the scripture say about that? Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> this is uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. It says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So there, so though everybody over here trying to join hand in hand, sing lullabies, be on one accord, the wicked not going to be un go unpunished. The Lord knows how America was, was established. The Lord knows how America was founded and it was not founded on the true principles of the scriptures. It was founded upon Edomite supremacy philosophies and ideologies because they'll tell you oh but in the beginning america was founded on christian principles no the fuck it wasn't all right if that was the case you wouldn't enslave the lord's chosen people all right you dimwits okay you fools really you just you you love yourselves edomite supremacy so let's go back to titus chapter one and this is verse 16 it says, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. If that's not America, I don't know what to tell you. They profess that they know the Most High, all right, but they don't do nothing he say, okay? <clears throat> and they, and they, they damn sure don't uh, listen to the prophets. They damn sure don't listen to us. I hold our highways and byways. We've been endowed and blessed with the true spirit, the true understanding, the true knowledge of the scriptures. And they don't listen to us. They're disobedient, all right? You tell them that they can't eat pork, uh, uh, shellfish, crab, lobster, oysters. Oh, yeah, I can eat what I want to eat. Don't you? You can't judge me. That's that Christianity fable, eat of my supremacy bullshit. That is not what the scriptures say. The Lord gave you a dietary law. The Lord gave you laws on how to live on the earth that He created for you to live on. For you to just for you to just disregard those laws proves that you don't respect the Most High. You deny Him. That's why it says they profess they profess to know God, but in works they deny Him. Disobedient, abominable. All right, and er and un unto every good work reprobate. Let's get that word reprobate. In the concordance in the blue letter. And it says what? Not standing the test, not approved, unfit. All right. That which does not prove itself as it ought. So you y'all reprobates. Y'all saying one thing, but you don't prove it through your actions. All right. You do the complete opposite. So I wanted to do a lesson on this map because I seen it. I'm like, America's not a Christian nation. You right? Actually, you know. It, it It is under the pretense of Edomite supremacy and Edomite Christianity, all right? Because we don't call ourselves Christians. We call ourselves Hebrew Israelites, okay? So in a, in a, in a nutshell, if you want to be, you know, specific, yeah, okay, America is a Christian nation, but what does American Christianity have to do with the scriptures any damn way, all right? So all the law is, is all, it's all a lie and it's all hypocrisy, you know, so, um, yeah, I wanted to do a lesson touching on that real quick. Lord willing, it was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.